Ghost Tech is part of our patent pending display system technology and it's based on the same material as our Quantum Stealth. This takes advantage of the opposite function of Quantum Stealth to bend light onto the material to show something on it, such as a person, that's not actually there. The Patent Office has reviewed our display system patent application and concluded that all 46 claims are novel, inventive, and all have industrial application. This verifies the uniqueness of these technologies. Notice that the hologram-like video follows me as I move around the front of the material. This is once again due to the nature of the material which allows for perspective-dependent viewing. As with Quantum Stealth, our display system doesn't seem to make sense, as the image that's projecting me is going right through the material and is only visible on the back, whereas the background image that's being projected from the opposite side is visible on both sides. In this video I have mixed Quantum Stealth on the Riot Shield with the Ghost Tech display system which is producing a hologram like video on the front of the shield. If a tactical team enters a room the door may have to be opened and people in the room will know something's there. By projecting a familiar person on the shield such as their commanding officer or a civilian janitor to the enemy they may be less likely to become defensive and reach for their weapons. This provides the tactical team extra seconds to analyze the room before they decide what to do. Deceptech can be improved by exchanging the secondary lens with a much smaller lenticular lens that goes over the camera lens, and using an ultra short throw projector or using two projectors to provide multiple perspectives. I'm demonstrating the ability of our patent pending display system to project two independent video images across a gap where they go through the material closest to them with little impact on that lens and each video image stops at the second piece of material furthest away from each projector. So why is this occurring? On one lenticular lens sheet, the lenses are running vertical, and the other sheet, the lenses are running horizontally. When the projected light rays hit the first lens, the light is polarized in that alignment, and if you place a paper between the lenses, it looks like a series of colored lines in one direction. Once those light rays hit the second lens of the opposite polarity, do the light rays converge back into the original video image. The distortion of the aspect ratio of the image is due to the distance the light rays travel between the two opposing lens sheets. This aspect ratio can be compensated in the opposite ratio before projection. In this video I've curved the two lenses of opposite polarities to form a cylinder 
on which to project two separate videos. The principle is the same as the two lenses being apart, but now we have a unique display cylinder which could be used for advertising. On one side, the image is viewable across the entire width of the lens, whereas the other side, due to the opposite polarity, will have more movement up and down than sideways. This is one case where seeing it in person is better than seeing it on video. As the camera is attempting to overcome the amount of light it's sensing with automatic changes in the ISO. As I get close to a maximum exposure level, do you get a washed out looking video image, but in person the images look much better with higher contrast than seen here. What is a perspective dual display you ask? You will see an image or a video on the display directed to where you stand and as you move the image will change to something else. This could be the basis of showing three dimensional images where you have a left side and a right side depending on which side you're standing on. But I'm thinking bigger, much bigger than just an image or a video on a small piece of the material. I'm thinking walls that have this holographic light -like capability. Fans of Star Trek know what the holodeck is, and for those that don't, it's an immersive environment in a room filled with lifelike holograms that can simulate almost any environment you can think of. There are companies out there that are trying to simulate this by determining where the person in the room is standing by tracking their head and adjusting the display for the correct perspective. The problem with this is that only one person has that correct perspective, and so the room is only limited to one person. With our system, the potential is there to have multiple people in the room seeing different things depending upon where they're standing and not tracking anybody's head or location. This ability also comes in handy in a number of the applications where we want to provide multiple perspectives of someone viewing this display system. Another unique feature we discuss in the patent is the ability to replace the first lenticular lens sheet with a miniature lenticular lens that goes directly over the projector lens. This can make the system less bulky, less chance of wind causing distortions, and less expensive. Hollow walls are holographic like walls. Why would you need something like this? Often in urban combat there may be no cover available to hide behind, and unlike natural areas where you can dig a trench or a foxhole, these options often don't exist for urban operations. Trying to use static camouflage would require too much material due to the various building materials found in these environments. Now they can carry their hollow walls with them to simulate hundreds or thousands of different walls to hide behind when needed. I developed the system to be lightweight for the soldiers. The projector here is a 200 lumens with a 2-4 to four hour battery life. The secondary lenticular lens can be replaced with a smaller lens that goes over the projector lens. Using a mirror can make this system quite compact and can allow a person to get up to the back of the mirror without interfering with the transmission of the image.
Need a sentry to watch guard over you while you sleep? You can add anyone to the scene that's been programmed into the memory. Are you a hunter trying to attract a deer, elk, or moose? Are you a soldier hiding and you want the enemy to leave because they just saw a grizzly bear? Or if you're worried they might look at the grizzly as a target, a mother black bear with her two cubs, where I'm from this will definitely cause you to get out of the area. Or maybe you want the enemy to see no threat at all but something harmless like a cow that explains the stick that snapped when you accidentally stepped on it. The hunting market is a big one. I've been involved in developing hunting patterns for over 10 years, including all the Optifade patterns and recently the Harkala Access MSP for the European market. And while hunters don't want to be seen, they also want to draw the animals close to them. This is often done with large decoys which have to be hauled out through the woods and many of them are life size which take up a lot of the room in the vehicle. Why not just simulate the animal with an image or a video on a system that only weighs a few pounds, is battery powered and can roll up into your backpack to go anywhere you go off-road. You may want to show the decoys over a larger viewing area, which just requires a couple of extra lens sheets and no change to the projector to do so. These decoy animals cost me a few dollars each, and they're only a few inches long. Just a word of warning, if you experience motion sickness easily, you may want to avoid watching this video. Holopix utilizes version 2 of Quantum Stealth, where I have attached two lenticular lenses back to back, which provides unique polarizing three-dimensional features when placed above a flat picture, image, word, logo, or even video displays, and objects with depth. The more distance between the object and the lens, the greater the movement which can be either configured for horizontal or vertical movement. The Patent Office determined that this Holopix feature within the patent is an entirely separate patent. They did approve all claims related to this portion as inventive, novel, and having industrial application.
This may be the easiest of our patents to bring to market, and the ability to make an image, photo, or flat logo pop, and the inexpensive material required to do this, may make this a very marketable product for businesses to advertise in a new way, as well as for the individual at home that wants to bring new life and feel to old photos.